Hunter. Today I stand before you and God. I'm about to give you my whole heart, always. The love you show me every day is a true exhibit of how the Lord loves us, fully and unconditionally. Today I praise Him knowing that He is the reason we are standing here together, becoming husband and wife, one in Him forever. Today I vow to actively pursue you and stand by you as you pursue your dreams. I vow to encourage you in your walk with the Lord. I vow to hold your hand through the good times and the bad. I vow to laugh with you and cry with you. I vow to work towards being the wife that you deserve. I vow to remain faithful to you always. Thank you for loving me and choosing me to be your wife. Madison, I love you so much. I've counted down the months, days, and hours until I get to be your husband. I'm so blessed to be able to spend the rest of my life with you, my best friend, and I'm so excited for our future together. I vow to honor you and love you just as Christ loves us. I vow to lead our family and be the man God has called me to be. I vow to be your best friend, your adventurer, and your teammate. I vow to be your spontaneity and your travel partner. I vow to care for you, protect you, and cherish you. Today marks the beginning of our journey together, and I'm so honored to be your husband and to take you as my wife. We see in marriage the image of the gospel. Marriage is about sacrificing ourselves for one another. These sacred moments witnessed by God and all these people gathered here mark the end of your former life. Your joyous wedding is the beginning of a sacred death. Christian wedding vows mark the sweet beginning of a lifelong death to self, giving over not only all that you have, but all that you are. So on this, your long-awaited wedding day, I challenge you to raise the cross over your life so that it towers over all. Hunter, may you draw near to Christ as you love Madison fully. And Madison, may you draw near to Christ so that you may love Hunter fully. your bride. Your love's not <laughs> it's not a troubled mind. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, may I now present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. John Hunter Morgan.